So whether you're moving from New York City to Philadelphia, or you wanna to move to one of these two cities, but you're just not sure which one to move to, this is the video for you. We're going to break down both of these cities into things such as cost of living, things to do, housing, healthcare, and so much more. This is your complete guide for all things Philadelphia versus New York City. Hi there, I'm Corey Benhart, your Philly Metro area realtor. All of my information is below. I would love to help you find your home. Let's get started with the location and the population of both Philadelphia and New York City. Both of these major cities are located on the East Coast, only around two hours from each other. But although these cities are very close in proximity, they are different in just about every other way. New York City has a population of 8.4 million people. And to put that into perspective, the city of New York has a larger population than the entire population of 37 individual states. New York City is only 300 square miles, which means it is the most densely populated city in the entire country and it is double the population of the second largest which is Los Angeles and now Philadelphia on the other hand has a population of just about 1.4 million people and to put that into perspective although it is much smaller than New York in population Philadelphia alone is still larger in population than 12 individual states I've had clients that have moved from New York City to Philly and they always say how great it is that Philly just feels so much smaller and then it really feels like you can get to just about anywhere within the city in about 10 to 15 minutes and you don't have to deal with the insane traffic that New York City had. So now let's compare the economy and the job markets between New York and Philly. New York City has one of the largest economies which is made up of finance, entertainment, media, technology, fashion, and tourism. Of course the number one driving factor of the New York economy is the New York Stock Exchange located on Wall Street which employs about 9% of all of New York's workers. Philadelphia has a very strong economy and job market as well, with the main industries being healthcare, education, manufacturing, and research. Philadelphia is driven by the healthcare field, which makes up a total of 21% of the employment in Philadelphia due to some of the top hospitals in the country being located right in Philly, such as the University of Pennsylvania, Jefferson Health, Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, and Temple University Hospital, just to name a few. Most of these hospitals have smaller sub hospitals scattered throughout the city to service the entire population of Philly. The healthcare field in Philadelphia is so well known and truly one of the best, so much so that one in six doctors throughout the entire country was trained right in Philadelphia. All right, next, let's talk about the cost of living, which is one of the biggest differences between these two cities. Everyone throughout the entire country and probably throughout the entire world knows how expensive it is to live in New York City. As of the time of filming this video, the entire city of New York has a median housing price of $799,000, which might seem high, but when we break it down by neighborhood, it gets so much worse. Keep in mind that these are just the average cost of living by neighborhood. Starting with Manhattan, which has an average housing cost of $1.5 million. And again, that's the median cost. Next is Brooklyn with an average cost of $995,000. Staten Island, which is $699,400. And in Queens, it's $625,000. 67% of New York City residents are renting as opposed to owning and buying a home. And there's an average of three people living in each apartment and that's for the most part due to people having to become roommates to help each other afford the entire cost of living in New York. New York set the record for having the most expensive home ever sold throughout the entire country back in 2019 when a penthouse sold for $238 million for one single home. So now let's compare New York's prices to Philadelphia's. Instead of the median housing price of $799,000 dollars like it is in New York, Philadelphia's average price of housing is only $280,000. The most expensive neighborhood throughout the entire city of Philadelphia does not even break the median sales price of a million dollars. The most expensive median price neighborhood in the city is Fittler Square with a median price of $860,000. The average home in Philadelphia is 7% less expensive to buy than to rent, which is why only 48% of the city's population are renters 
compared to the 67% of renters in New York City. The taxes between these two cities are quite different as well. Pennsylvania is a flat rate income tax state, which means no matter how much you make, everyone in Pennsylvania is taxed at the same 3.07% tax rate, except if you live in Philadelphia, which is an additional 3.79% wage tax on top of that for a total of around 6.8% compared to New York, which ranges anywhere from 4% if you make up to $8,500 a year, 6.25% if you make between $80,000 and $215,000 a year, all the way up to 10.9%. Next for sales tax, Pennsylvania has a standard sales tax of 6%, except if you live in Philadelphia, it's actually up to 8% total comparing that to New York, which has a sales tax of 8.875%. Now let's compare one of my favorite topics, which is food. The East Coast as a whole is known to have some of the best food in the entire country. Both of these cities have every type of food that you could ever imagine, but these cities both specialize in a couple of certain different foods. New York is famous for its Manhattan bagels, its hot dogs, pizza, and cheesecake whereas Philadelphia is famous for its cheesesteaks, pretzels, hoagies, scrapple, and crab fries. If you're planning to visit one or both of these two cities before you make a move, I would highly recommend trying some or all of this different food. Speaking of some of the famous food for these cities, let's also now talk about some of the landmarks and attractions that are famous in both of these cities. Some of the most famous in New York City are of course the Statue of Liberty, the very beautiful Central Park, the Empire State Building, Times Square, where they have the very popular New Year's Eve celebration, the Brooklyn Bridge, Grand Central Terminal, and so much more. Philadelphia is full of history, and some of the most popular things to go and see in Philadelphia are, of course, the Liberty Bell, the Franklin Institute, which is a great interactive science museum for kids, the Philadelphia Art Museum, and truthfully, I don't know what is more popular, the Art Museum itself, or the steps outside of the Art Museum, also known as the Rocky Steps from the movie Rocky. The Reading Terminal Market, which is incredible. It has every type of food that you could imagine all under one roof. There's also Betsy Ross House and so much more. Speaking of things to do, the sports and entertainment in both of these cities are absolutely amazing. Both of these cities have amazing fan bases for their sports teams and they're truly die hard. So if you're planning on moving to one of these cities and let's say you're a fan of another city or another team, of course, wear and support your team, but do it respectfully. When it comes to entertainment, I'm going to say that New York City beats Philadelphia just because of Times Square and Broadway. You can see so many amazing shows all throughout the year. Now for transportation. Both New York and Philadelphia are in the top five largest cities throughout the entire country, so their public transportation is both extensive and very convenient. New York City has subways, buses, Ubers and Lyfts, commuter trains, whereas Philadelphia has buses, the subway system, Uber and Lyft, but overall, Philadelphia's public transportation is much less complex than New York City. And I'm going to say that that's just based on the sheer volume of people that have to commute and that live in New York City. One of the most important factors between both of these cities is the education. Truthfully, a lot of major cities don't have the best public school systems. So you might find that a lot of residents will send their kids to private schools, religious schools, charter schools, etc. in one of these major cities. Beyond K through 12, 12th grade, New York City and Philadelphia have some of the best colleges in the entire country. New York City has Columbia University, the very famous NYU, Queens College, etc. Philadelphia is home to the University of Pennsylvania, also known as UPenn, Drexel University, Temple, and Thomas Jefferson University. If Philadelphia seems like the perfect city for you, or you want to venture out into the suburbs a bit, I would love to help you find your perfect Pennsylvania home, both in the city and or out in the suburbs. All of my contact information information is below. I will see you over on this next video.